Good evening everyone. Now the next topic that is differences between procedural programming languages and uh, the object oriented programming languages. Right. So first of all, uh, you just un understand the concept of procedural programming languages. What do you mean by it? As you just check the definition of it first of all, then only I'll tell you how exactly it works. And uh, like we could say about procedural programming that it could be defined as a programming model which is derived from the structured programming based on the concept of calling the procedures, right? Means there is one procedure, means step by step you just work on this procedural languages, right? So like we are having one methodology, we are having one planning, uh, like how to complete the set of instructions. Which you want to give to your computer system right so procedures are also known as routines as well as subroutines or you could say the functions right so uh, like uh, it simply consists of a series of computational steps to be carried out right for example you just understand that um, with the help of uh, one program one sample program i would give you right but uh, first of all, what you could say or how you could understand this procedural programming languages? As you know very well that programming in C, right, is one kind of procedural programming. Then what are the features of it? As you could say that it is one kind of structured programming languages as well as it is totally based upon the functions, right? And what what are, like other feature we could say about this procedural programming? There is one more thing that it follows top down approach right it follows top-down approach whereas the object oriented programming languages follows the bottom-up approach now how is it possible and how it is being done right so this is uh, basically one sample of C programming because C is uh, like one of the procedural programming language so that is why even though uh, like uh, students uh, obviously first of all they work on this uh, procedural programming languages Right, so that is why I have taken one of the sample program of C programming. So, as you could see that first of all we have included some of the header files, right? stdio.edge. So, what do you mean by stdio? That is a standard input output, right? And after that we uh, like we have written int main, right? Because in each each and every program of C programming, we have to write main function, right? Without main, it would not be implemented. As we know very well that without the int main, the program would not implement. The compiler obviously would not uh, compile this program if there is not main function included, right? And uh, just after that, like there is one syntax that after the int main, uh, you have to use the curly braces, right? And if you have opened it, then obviously you have to close it. Then between these curly braces, you have to write down each and every instructions, right? Which you want to give with the help of this procedural programming, right? So this is one procedure. This is uh, one uh, kind of uh, like structured programming, right? One by one, the step by step, you have to follow each and every instruction, right? But in case of object oriented programming, what do we do, right? As we are saying that object oriented programming languages. So in case of object oriented programming language, each and everything is based upon object, right? Just like in case of procedural programming, like we are having functions, right? But in case of object oriented programming, each and everything is being done with the help of object, right? So this uh, object oriented programming uh, obviously uh, tell us the real world entities, right? So what could be the definition of this object oriented programming? that it could be defined as a programming model which is based upon the concept of objects as i've told you and these objects contain the data in a form of attributes and the code in a form of methods right obviously i'll show you that how exactly this run uh, in object oriented programming computer programs are designed using the concept of objects right which interact with the real world now uh, like i'll give you uh, one of the program for it and uh, first of all you just understand it that this is known as like uh, obviously it, it is following the bottom up approach right bottom up approach why because in case of c programming in case of c programming means procedural programming the main 
the main function is on the top right and after that each and every set of instruction you just write right so, so that is why we and compiler directly jumps onto the main function right whenever we just compile our program of c program i'm just talking about right whenever the uh, user or the developer is compiling the program of c programming uh, within c programming then directly the compiler jumps into the main function right and after that one by one it just um, follows the like uh, the number of steps which you have written downwards right but in case of object oriented programming as you could see that the main function is on the bottom right the main function is on the bottom means in case of object oriented programming like as soon as we just compile the program then directly the compiler directly jumps into the main function as we always say now that compiler directly jumps into the main function that means in case of object oriented programming it is jumping into the bottom side after that one by one is it is just checking the code for example you just understand that uh, this is basically the syntax of c++ right a c++ program this is basically one syntax uh, of c++ program right because each and everything is depend upon the different number of classes right so using namespace std we have written and uh, like i go stream header file i have introduced over here right so now uh, like i am introdu introducing two classes the first one is animal class this is one common class right with the help of this example i am just inheriting the properties of animal right in case of animal class i have taken one function that is void eat and i have written i have printed one property of the animal that i can eat right then after closing this class with the help of semicolon i have closed this class after that i have taken one uh, one of the example of it under animal that is dog right and after that what i am doing i am just taking the inheritance feature i am just inheriting the properties of class animal right this uh, eat uh, function i am just inheriting with the help of uh, this dog class right so into that uh, i have taken one another function that is void bark right and i have printed something within this uh, another class right and after that i have closed it with the help of semicolon with the help of curly braces after that in the main function like how the program is being run right first of all i have created one object for the dog class because dog is the main class right and i have uh, actually i wants to uh, take i wants to print uh, like all these two functions right eat as well as bark only and only with the help of this dog class right so that means i have to create the object of only this dog class right so what i have done i have written dog dog and after that the object name is user defined obviously right user defined it is so i have taken d1 now with the help of this d1 i could print the um, obviously the function or uh, with the help of this object i could print this eat function as well as this bark function means whatever i have written into this these two functions i could print it right so means compiler is directly jumping as soon as i'll compile my pro c++ program or object oriented program then compiler directly jumps into the main function right after that like it would check what exactly this uh, like d1 is so it would check here yes, this is one kind of object okay now with the help of this d1 i'm just trying to print the uh, obviously uh, eat and bark function means whatever i have written within it right so this is why we just see that c++ or object oriented programming follows the bottom up approach right i think you have understand uh, or you have understood what i have told you right now question arises that what are the differences between these two so in procedural programming the programming is divided into small parts that is known as functions right you know very well in case of object oriented programming the program is divided into small parts that is known as objects right in case of procedural programming it is known as functions in case of object oriented programming it is known as objects right this is the first difference then what is the second difference that procedural programming follows top down approach whereas object oriented programming follows bottom up approach right now what is what could be the third difference in case of procedural programming there is no access specifier what do you mean by access specifier 
actually we are having these three keywords that is private public and protected in case of object oriented programming we are having several kind of features the first one is like you could say class object inheritance uh, data security encapsulation different kind of features we are having so access specifier like with the help of this access specifier right we could provide data security right we could provide security within our c++ program right so this feature is not available under procedural programming but in case of object oriented programming we are having the concept of access specifiers right that would be followed only and only by using these three keywords that is private public and protected right now what is the another difference between these two languages so the another difference is like procedural programming does not have any proper way of hiding the data so it is not secure and as i have told you that object oriented programming provides data hiding feature so like it is more secure okay in procedural programming overloading is not possible obviously in case of procedural programming we are having only the limited uh, features but in case of object oriented programming we are having many more features so overloading is possible in case of object oriented programming right we could do the overloading right in case of object oriented programming then uh, like the procedural programming uh, there is no concept of data hiding as well as of inheritance inheritance means to uh, like uh, you could say to inherit to access the properties of one class into another right as i have given you the example of that right but in case of object oriented programming the concept of data hiding as well as the inheritance could be used even though many times it is used right then uh, the next differences which we could write about these two languages are in procedural programming the function is more important than the data but in object oriented programming data is more important than the function in procedural programming it is based upon the real world and object oriented programming is totally based upon the real world entities right we just create a real uh, word objects right and the procedural programming is used for designing the medium sized program but object oriented programming is used for designing the large and complex program right so the very lengthy programs uh, are being used uh, like written in case of object oriented programming right so it is uh, obviously in case of uh, uh, like uh, the set of instruction if it just talk about then in procedural programming we are having only the limited uh, size but in case of object oriented programming obviously the large set of code we could write even though it is quite complex because several uh, features are there that is why it's, it's called uh, the complex programs right because uh, obviously if we would apply several number of um, features into that just like inheritance polymorphism encapsulation right then data hiding then obviously it would be complex but obviously it is uh, like uh, one of the uh, best programming right you could say if we just uh, like uh, differentiate these two programming languages then object oriented programming is the best right and what could be the example of uh, procedural programming right uh, in case of procedural we are having some of the examples of programming that is fortran pascal basic and programming in c in case of object oriented programming we are having the first programming language that is c++ java python r c sharp etc right so these are some set of examples some set of differences right which we have uh, like which i have been framed into it now we'll just study from these uh, video lectures right so thank you everyone thank you so much hope you have understood